Hi, it's John, VE3 IPS. I'm in Toronto. Let me show you how to get in the air really, really quickly, uh, less than five minutes. Uh, you basically require three components, some sort of an antenna, a lighting tripod that I use. I got a wooden insert for the uh, fiberglass pole. And what I'm using here is we don't have any crappy poles, but we have a Shakespeare Wonder Pole, 20 feet, 20 bucks, local sporting goods store, telescopic uh, fishing rod. So the antenna I'm going to use for uh, what I like to do called radar, rapid antenna deployment, amateur radio, QRP operating, picnic table operating, uh, operating at a, at a rest stop on the highway, hiking. Um, the antenna I have here is one I got the other day is the Pac-10, it's the Pac-10 Mini. It's a 50 to 1 ballon, takes a 3 to 4,000 ohm impedance for an end-fed half-wave antenna and reduces it down to 50 ohms. You don't need an antenna tuner. It's pretty well flat match at 14.1, uh, 14.2. So I'm going to unravel this. You want to read the manual for sure right off the bat because uh, when I unpacked my antenna and tried it out, the SWR was way too high. And then I realized uh, after I measured the antenna length, uh, they give you uh, extra antenna wire so you can tune it the way that you need it. So the actual length that you need for 20 meters for an end fed half wave antenna is 31 feet and 3 inches. Let me get this all unraveled out. As you can see, it's got a built-in winding area, balance included. It's also the ability to add a counterpoise if you wish. I, didn't, I don't think I really need one. And as well, it's got a BNC connector on it. So all we have to do here in this regard is uh, unpack the fiberglass antenna. I've added a ring to it. I added the ring to it so I can connect the uh, S-clip carabiner that comes with the uh, tight enough. Let's try this again. There we go. I'm going to do the bottom cap, put on the rod here so I have it on the tripod. And I'll pull this down. I'm going to take the S clip carabiner, connect it to the end. I can go walk the antenna back up. I'm going to connect my antenna analyzer to it. The antenna analyzer that I use is made by uh, iPortable. I've had it for a long time, IP30. And there we go, the SWR is one-to-one -one on uh, 14.2. So all I have to do is connect this to uh, my QRP radio. I don't need an antenna tuner, and I'm on the air making contacts. Normally right here, I would probably be sitting at a picnic table. So that's a quick way of getting on the air very, very quickly. And choose your antenna, get a fishing rod, you can also get a 32 foot pole if you want, tripod mast, there's a couple other different ways you can do it. I'll show you some videos as we go along in the series of some other things and tips and tricks that I use for uh, QRP or portable operating. Thanks, 73 is good DX.